You know, the most remarkable moment in life is when you meet the person who makes you feel complete. The one who makes the world a more beautiful and magical place. And it's the person with whom you share a bond so special that it begins to transcend normal relationships and become something so pure and so wonderful that you can't imagine spending another day without them in your life. So like I said, Bethany didn't date much in high school. Um, like I said, she was too good in my books to have a long-term relationship. Um, and that's why when I knew Ian came into the picture that something was different, something was special. She sets her mind on something and she's gonna go after it and nothing's gonna stop her. So the fact that Ian stood by her through her goals and dreams, no matter the distance, goes such a long way in my book. They both have dreams and ambitions, pursue them and stay the course with one another. And that is so special. That's the man that she waited for. Dear Bethany, words cannot describe how overcome with emotion I am that this day has finally come. I never would have guessed that the girl from class that I was afraid to talk to would end up being my girlfriend, let alone my wife. We have been through some of the most challenging times together and they have all led us to this moment. There's not a single thing that I would change in our journey together. I'm beyond excited to spend the rest of my life with you and see what happiness and joy we can experience together. I love you most, forever and always. Ian, I can't believe this day is finally here. It's the day we've talked about, hoped for, and prayed for for what seems like forever, but also a blink at the exact same time. I'm so thankful for our journey to get here, including three and a half years of distance, I wouldn't change a thing because it's made our bond and relationship that much stronger. I wouldn't want to go through this life with anyone else. Thank you for not just being my best friend, my rock, or my love, but everything that could possibly make up the meaning of all three. If I had to do it all again, there's no doubt I'd choose you every time. I can't wait to be your wife. I love you most. See you at the altar. my best friend. I stand before you today as your partner, surrounded and supported by amazing loved ones who have impacted our lives apart and now also together. So in front of all our friends and family, I make these promises to you. I promise to always be loyal and faithful to you, to support your hopes and dreams, to challenge you to be the best version of yourself, but also to stay true to who you are in times of adversity. Bethany, I vow to always be with you through every moment in life, to lead you through the times of uncertainty, to stand behind you in support during all of your shining moments, and to stand beside you during all of your difficult decisions. I vow my faithfulness to you and our relationship, to always put forth my best effort as a husband and as a father to our children. I promise to always tell you what I think, even if you don't necessarily ask for it, <laughs> and to make you laugh when you're taking yourself too seriously. I promise to love you faithfully through the difficult and the easy, to always be the one you can lean on and confide in. I promise to always be patient with you, even if it means listening to the amount of points the player sitting on your fantasy football bench is scoring <laughs> every single Sunday during football season. I promise to always put the Lord first in our relationship and future family, encouraging a household of joy, patience, and compassion, radiating God's love. I vow to always encourage you to chase your dreams and ambitions. I vow to make any necessary sacrifices for your happiness, even if that means eating 80% of the cheesecake. So Joe, do you and Donna give Bethany to be married to Ian? Yes, we do. On behalf of the Struckmeyer and the D'Alessandro family, we'd like to welcome all our guests and we thank you all for coming. May you have a blessed marriage and I'm looking for some 
tall, red-headed grandchildren. Just seeing he and Bethany, how determined and strong and smart she is, pushes him to do better things, and they're both so humble, and I couldn't be happier for you two finding each other and finding so early in life to be able to grow and develop together. Your brother and I will always be here for you. Um, you and Ian are the best aunt and uncle to our little Camille that anybody could ever ask for, and you are gonna be wonderful parents. Um, we are so proud of both of you and all of your accomplishments, and we can't wait to see where this life takes you. Bethany and Ian, I love you both so much. Uh, I'm so excited that you get to be together forever. Um, so if I could please raise a glass. Uh, I cannot wait to see what the two of you do next. We are all standing by with nothing but love and support. Thank you. I'm so happy that you found your one, the one that we prayed for, the one we spent years dreaming of together, the one that we waited for. He's finally here, and I couldn't be more happy to see Christ's faithfulness in your marriage take care of my sweet friend. She's one in a million. As life and time changes us both, I promise to learn and grow right along with you, always by your side. Ian, I promise to love you endlessly every day of my life, and I know that when we're old and gray, we'll look back on our lives and have no regrets. I vow to give all of myself to you all the time and love you unconditionally from this day until our last. Having pledged your love to each other in the expression of your vows and committing to each other your unlimited, undying love, it is my honor to pronounce you husband and wife. Ian, you may kiss your wife and now partner for life. <laughs>